As the dust settles from the country's recent elections, alliances and loyalties continue to get tested. First up, Jamate Islami has thrown a curveball at PTI, outright refusing to join hands with them in governing Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Meanwhile, Molana Fazlur Rahman, the chief of JUIF, isn't just rejecting the election results. He's throwing an open invitation to Nawaz Sharif to join him in opposition. Speaking of the Sharifs, Maryam Nawaz, the PMLN's chief organizer, is busy quashing rumors about her father's political retirement. The clarification came after PMLN supporters flooded Twitter with callbacks to the party's election slogan, Pakistan ko Nawaz do, criticizing Nawaz's decision to nominate Shehbaz Sharif as prime minister instead. To cool things down, Maryam made it clear that her father isn't going anywhere. In another big twist, six more knights of the Punjab Assembly have sworn loyalty to the PMLN banner, as well as three independent lawmakers from Khanewal. These additions have given the party a simple majority in the Punjab Assembly, which means they now have enough seats to form a government in the province. But the party isn't just stopping at Punjab. Amid allegations of rigging in Balochistan, PMLN leader Jam Kamal Khan is rallying the troops, seeking to form a coalition government there as well. Things aren't looking as good for PTI though, as a newly elected member from Karachi, Ijaz Swati, has decided to jump ship to the PPP. Why, you ask? Swati says it's for the prosperity of his people. In the grand theatre of Pakistani politics, the plot never ceases to thicken. The alliances are as unpredictable as the weather, and the only certainty is the next sensational headline.